I look tired. You can't even see my ears. My background doesn't look good. And I didn't put a video up yesterday. But here we are again. Hi family! I'm going to call you my family from today because you are part of my family. I always miss spending time with you guys when I don't film. It feels like I'm talking to you every time and that you listen to me. <laughs> and I'm so glad that many of you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. If you're new, be part of Didi family if you want. But today, today, I, I, first of all, I want to say sorry that I didn't put any video up yesterday. Not yesterday, but it was on Friday when I watched this video. Okay, so Friday. I put three videos a week, but this week I was so tired. I had so many things at work and I just felt on Friday that I was feeling very bad and was a little bit emotional, so I didn't film. So I'm very, very sorry for that. But here I am again. I have so many breakouts on my face and it's because I ate a lot of sugar and I don't care. And we are here to play with a palette. Is it as bad as everybody else thinks? Yes, I bought it and I said that I would. Uh, I really loved all the shades for the first when I saw this palette for the first time. I was in love and I wanted to buy it, but then I started watching reviews and I got scared because nobody liked it. Not nobody, maybe two person of hundred that I watched didn't like like this and the rest didn't like it. And I was, it is expensive, so I was, I want to buy it, I want to try it myself, I love the colors, I did bought, I will call it the dupe from Makeup Revolution, and I d d really love those shades, kind of similar to this one, not exactly, but they're similar, similar if you want me to do um, comparison and swatch them next to each other and uh, see how similar they are, please let me know down below, but I wanted to buy this palette, and when uh, the Soft Glam la launched, I bought that one and I was thinking about this one too. Oh, my nose is itching. Okay, so I was thinking to buy this one too, but I didn't. Then the Soul Tree came out and I wanted to buy th this one again. Didn't. The Norina palette came before Soul Tree. I bought that one too. Didn't buy this, didn't buy this one. But Kickstart Essie had sale. 50% off on a couple of products and this was one of them and of course 50% off of course I went and bought it so today I haven't swatched it I haven't even opened it I haven't even opened it I didn't want to see it before I do this video because I'm kind of scared and interested to see how it is looking so let's open it together so I won't zoom you in yet Let's open this beauty. I oh, really lo love this color. Some will do swatches. I saw that on every video, so let's open it together. Wow. I'm sorry, guys, but this is stunning. Look at the shades. Oh, electric. I need to have that on my eyes today. So... Okay, this is this is strange. Can you see this? Excuse my nails, guys, but look at this yellow. This one it has some green or some shading, and this last looks like somebody I don't know dig the nail in it. But it doesn't look swatched at all, so I don't think this was swatched. It came closed. But we are going to use it today and everything looks stunning. Really, I have to be honest, it looks stunning. And I already primed my eyes with this Wet n Wild primer and I did set it with some powder because I always do that. And I just want to dive in this palette and I'm scared, but I really want to see if this is so terrible as everybody else says. So let's start. I don't know what I want to do. I have a couple of ideas that I want to try out, but I want to dig in the greens, but I want to dig in in the more natural shades. Today we are going to go brown, and next and another day we are going to take greens. 
because I'm going out today. So I'm really, really, to, really, really want to try. Let's let's start. We are going to do something special today. I'm going to go in in the dawn shade here. Uh, yeah, they are powdery. They really are. Let's remove this from the mirror. I'm going to use the mirror. You can probably hear my children playing in the next room. Oh, this is pigmented. Oh, I love the shade. So many of, not many, I lie, a couple of you told, uh, said that my make, eye makeup doesn't always look even. And it doesn't because I have really, really hooded eyes. And if you see, this one is more hooded than this one. So these never look the same and it's impossible. And I want to remove this, but I'm scared of doing that. And uh, I don't know. I just know it's going to get, oh, it's powdery, powdery. The powder flies everywhere. So I know every eyeshadow powder from Anastasia is powdery, but this one, this down shade is beautiful, but it flies everywhere. But let's see. Okay, then I want to go in with fudge color here. The dark brown with this side, it's powdery, it is, and it's pigmented. Wow, this is pigmented. We're going to blend everything. I know it doesn't look good. We are just going to put the shade there. We are going to blend it. Then I'm going to clean that brush. And I want to go in with new veil, this shade. And it but be easy when you go in with this because it picks, oh my God, this is a, ooh, this shade is so beautiful. I'm going to do a cut crease today. This shade is beautiful. And I just went a little bit too hard on it. And then I want to do this edge shade here. That looks stunning. Also very pigmented. Wow. I mean, guys, this is so beautiful. And then I'm going to go back with this brush with no powder and just blend the edges a little bit going back and forth just to build up this shade go in with the dawn that we had in the crease and try to blend the edges a little bit so I did the same thing on the eye and this one went a little bit better because I just got a, a little bit used to the shades. It's uh, not a palette for the beginner, I can say. And we are going to blend everything. It is very powdery, the, the palette. And it does have a little bit of fallout, but I do not care. But the shades look beautiful. I mean, it, it looks crazy because I don't have foundation and everything on, but when I do everything, it's going to look flawless so I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to do that with makeup revolution concealer I have so much skin on my eyelids that it's so hard to do a cut crease without messing up. And I'm not a makeup artist, so for me, um, it takes a little bit longer. And we're going to dig in in this shade here. This is, I'm going to take this brush and I hope it's going to work. Uh, 
let's go in with finger and see we can yeah wow i really love this shade i really like how this looks right now i really really do so i'm going to take this brush again from the palette and go into fudge the dark brown try to blend the edges here Mm. And I'm going to go in this um, new veil shade. This turned out strange can you see what's happening here what's happening here i don't know if you can see guys but something happened here look at this eye how stunning this looks but this eye for some reason doesn't look good So guys, I feel like there is no light shade for under for the eyebrow, eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with there is nothing in there too either. In the soft glam because I really love this shade here, Tembera, and I do need this kind of shade right now. And I don't have that in this palette, so I do need to go in in here and try to you see, this is what I need. Blend the edges a little bit. So then I'll do rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to finish the makeup look. Okay, so I'm back guys. And I know I have a very dark lip on that doesn't really go in with makeup look. It kind of does with this dark brown, but it's the Milani metallic matte realistic shade i have this on because it's december i love december i love shimmer i love glitter i love metallic looks and i want to wear this month metallic lipsticks just a lot of shimmer some fun i'm going to wear it and i'm going to do another wear test of our mascara today but that is going to be a separate video and let's go back to the makeup look so I did uh, take this shade from Smashbox, this one, just to kind of blend a little bit the crease. And let's go back to the palette. So right now, hmm, I want to go in, uh, I'm going to take this one, the edge shade. Mm, I need my mirror. Such a beautiful shade. I'm going to bring it very low and then I'm going to take another brush and then I'm going to take a new wave I take it all the way on board I, I, you don't have to go in hard with the brush because you're going to get pigmented pigment then i'm going to take the same brush just take a little bit of that yellow edge and blend these two i love this and then so fall palette clean the brush again and then i'm going to go in the fudge again i know i use like this shade but i don't want to go in with too many shades They are so pigmented. 
And I'm not going to go all the way, just a half way and connect these two. I'm going to take this brush from Technique. This is uh, blah, 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 blah. This, this is called Detail Brush and go in this beautiful cube shade. It looks like duochrome. Mm, kind of pinkish. It looks white, but it's more pinkish shade. And break that here. Mm. I'm not kind of liking that. So we're going to take that and maybe bring it down here. It's kind of too pink for the inner corner. But we're going to take it down here. This is a beautiful shade, but it's too dark for the inner corners. So I'm going to bring it down here. And it looks stunning down here on the lower lash line. And it will look perfect like a top of uh, another matte. But I'm going to go take a highlighter. And I'm going to take from Ofra Highlighter Glaze Donut. And I'm going to pour that here. Oh yes, this is what we want. Look at this. So stunning. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that donut. I mean, my eyebrows are terrible today. And I do not care. Okay. Stunning. So now you can do like a wing eyeliner or eyeliner. I'm not going to do that because I have hooded eyes. And I first wanted to put eyelashes on because it's going to look stunning with eyelashes. But I'm not going to do that because... Why? Um, yeah, I'm going to try a mascara in another video. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do, put some mascara on and finish the look and I'll be right back to give you my full thoughts about what I think about this foundation, foundation <laughs> palette right now. So I'll be back. So guys, I finally finished this makeup look and I know my hair looks like a mess. I do not care don't look at it it's bad pretty bad but do you know what guys i kind of like this makeup look i don't have false eyelashes on right now because i'm trying out the mascara i'm reviewing paris Deli mascara that we just whoops that video is coming up on my channel soon so subscribe be part of my family so you can see that too and do you know what guys I love this makeup look. I love this. I know it doesn't look the same. I know this eyes more has um, better crease, as, uh, not crease, but um, cut crease than this one. This one I kind of messed up, so I went over. And uh, my final thoughts. Now, I did play just with a couple of eyesh eyeshadows in here, so let's be honest. Uh, this one is beautiful, but kind of made me a little bit disappointed because it was a little bit too pink, a little bit too dark pink, but I do like it. Now I know I can't use it in the, like here as a highlighter, but I do like this, 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 and this shade that I used, and this one. It is powdery. The shades I tried are powdery. I haven't tried all of them, but the shades I tried, I tried one, two, three, four, Five shades in the six shades in this pa uh, palette, and I like all of the shades. Now they are not the beginner friendly. They are not friendly for you that just started with makeup, don't have a clue how to blend an eyeshadow, and you like these shades. Maybe you should go with the Makeup Revolution one. But I think, I think, using these shades that this is worth the money. Let me let me just finish before you before you go mad in the comments down below. Just let me finish, please, guys. Uh, though I haven't tried all of the shades, I'm curious to try the more green shades. So if you want to see that, then please let me down below. I if you want to see me create a makeup look with this, I created makeup look with that makeup revolution palette. I'm talking about that palette all the time. Let me just take it out and show you 
which palette I'm talking about. Just a second. This palette. This is Iconic Division for Makeup Revolution, or Revolution, they're called right now. I created a makeup look with this palette. This is so similar to this one. Let me compare these two. If you want to see me makeup look with using one on this side and one on this side and swatch these palettes and see if they're, it's a perfect dupe, then please let me know down below. It looks like it is. Can you see? These two look like being a match. This bronzy shade here and green. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, guys. I want to do that video. This is too similar. Hmm? Hmm? If you want to see, please let me know down below. But I did create a makeup look with this palette that I loved and recreated all the time. Oh. I just close and I loved it. So I like this palette and I think this is more pigmented and a little bit harder to work with because it's pressed pigment. It's not the same as the Makeup Revolution one. Not <sighs> Modern Renaissance. It's not the same as the Modern Renaissance one, but I right now like this palette and I'm glad that I bought it. Though I'm glad I bought it at 50% off because I was scared, but it's powdery. It is powdery and it's harder to work with, but it's not impossible. And it is kind of changing colors when you start blending because when I blended the dark brown and the orange shade, it kind of turned gray a little bit. And I don't mind in this makeup look, but if I wanted them to be separate in another makeup probe, Maybe that would be a problem. But right now, it's not the worst palette that I tried, but it's, of course, not the best. But I kind of like it, and I love the shades. Oh, it speaks fall. And it's winter right now. Right, yeah. First impression, I like it. I don't know why people hate it that much. Now, I know the some of the green shades. In other videos, didn't work out, didn't try those gray, green shades. If you wanted to, now repeat myself, repeat myself. But if you want to see me try a makeup look with those greens, let me know. I do like the makeup look that I created today. I think it's stunning. And I kind of like how I did this cre cut crease because it opened my eyes and I do have a lot of skin on my eyelids and it makes my eyeshadow harder to blend, make me work harder than most of the people. So far, so good. I like it. If you like this makeup look and like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Mwah! Love you guys. Bye.